I don't know. Pencil, paper, why not try it? Apparently it was a letter written in Italian. Maybe I can get Jerry to translate it for me? Ah, okay, so whoever lived here was a photographer. Makes sense. Got some ink there. Oop, got another photo here. Huh. Oh. That was back in the kitchen. There's a key there. It was an old picture of the kitchen that I had just left. I missed a key. I gotta go back and get that. Ah, the classic find the key to open the door puzzle. Gotta love it. Whoever this was does pretty good work. I like to think I'm a decent photographer. I have a love for it, of course. The place was full of exquisite, albeit aged, candelabras. You already pointed that out, character. Thanks. Ah, see, here's a camera. It looked like whoever stayed in this room loved photography. Really, Michael, you think? Nothing in the drawer, but you look anyway. Nothing that is except the Gideon Bible, which I, of course, read religiously. <laughs> that was a reference. Uh, the, bed in this, the bed in this room was miserable looking. Well, it's old. Practical photography. There's much else here. Again, the artwork in this game is just beautiful. If I were this guy, I'd just... If, and if I owned this house, I would just take all the paintings and sell them and make a mint. So one of the interesting things about this game is that there's a lot of exploring and just kind of trying to figure out what you have to do to, to advance the game forward. Sometimes I like those, sometimes I, I don't. Especially if there's, like, one little bitty thing you needed to do, like you needed to talk to one person, or you needed to read one thing, like some other games I could mention. Hmm. A key holder. Except there weren't any keys hanging from it. Now, that photo had a key hanging on this thing, and there was a pot here. It's gone now. It was just an ordinary little table. I intended to brighten up the whole place, but, to my surprise, the lights wouldn't work. Okay, so we don't have power. That would be a good thing to make sure that we get fixed before night comes, I'm guessing. God, I just love that piano. Ah, okay, so that's the pot that was in there before. I'm guessing there's a key in there. Yes! Haha! <laughs> oh, Kronos, you haven't lost it. The rusty golden key was quite heavy. Yeah, as you've no doubt been able to tell at this point, I'm American, and my British accent is probably terrible. I'm sure British people watching this right now are laughing at me. But that's alright. It's fun to try and... It's it's always fun for me to try and imitate foreign accents. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very interested in foreign languages, as I'm sure many people watching this right now are aware. I mean, I've recently come to know a lot of good friends over across the seas in Europe, and <laughs> I'm sure they get tired of it, but I'm constantly asking them to say some things in their native language because I find foreign languages just fascinating, just because it's such a huge culture shock for me. And mainly, bec the, the thing that really strikes me, though, is that they all speak English and really, really well. And that just really makes me proud. I mean, it, it makes me feel honored that... Um, people in other countries would know English as well as they do. I mean, it's... I know, you know, we're, we're a big country, superpower and whatever, but still, that's, that's really cool. I think it's cool.
I'm betting this will work. Aha! The golden key fit nicely into place and unlocked the door. Don't know if I want to go into the basement, but... It's terribly cold and damp in the basement. Okay, that music is literally giving me shivers down my spine. There was a huge furnace covering most of the east wall. I didn't understand why, but I began to feel terribly uneasy. It had a menacing look to it. Okay, I'm just gonna save right now. Because I'm starting to get freaked out. Man, oh man, that, the atmosphere was dense and claustrophobic. Something bad is gonna happen here. I just know it. I do not like that music at all. There was a drain cover in the concrete. The valve was stuck. It wouldn't budge. Man, this music is freaking me out! I hoped I wouldn't have to push any of those boxes around. Uh, fuse box count, maybe? Get the lights on and get the f fuck out. There appeared to be nothing wrong with the fuses. Well, that's great. Obviously, the power isn't working. My mind could have been playing tricks on me, but there seemed to be some occasional distant noises. Yeah, I really don't like this. Kind of want to get out. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Okay, I think it's time to get out of here before something bad happens. Anything I missed? Okay. GTF, suddenly I felt a very cold breeze on my neck. And it was then that I realized I wanted to leave this basement as soon as possible. Oh, me too. You and me both, Michael. You and me both. Okay, how about we not go there anytime soon? When I was a kid, I used to be absolutely terrified of the dark. My mind would start going and I'd start imagining horrible, horrible things popping out of nowhere and grabbing me. If all of a sudden my power got cut from uh, my computer, I would be flipping the fuck out because that's the only source of light I have. Everything else around me is darkness. Ah. Nice little garden outside here, but I'm not really ready to go out yet. There's much more exploring of the manor to do. Why don't we go upstairs? Man, I just really like the graphics in this game. It really makes the setting just come alive. Really, this was only six years ago, but... Just, just look at this. I mean, it's beautiful. Ah, we've seen that painting before. I think. I think this was in Seventh Guest. Uh, this is a painting, I can't remember the exact title, but the whole point of this is, this is, um... I can't remember if that's supposed to be Kronos, or if it's Zeus, who is eating um, his children because one of them was supposed to kill him. So I'm guessing that's Kronos, or Uranos, if you like. <laughs> Love the irony there. Zeus would eventually be the one to go on and kill him, so yeah, that's gotta be what that is. I think he's eating one of his children. 
Kind of a grim painting. Fits with the setting. Oh, and we've got a picture of Cthulhu! <laughs> oh, this is game is gonna end real well. Wow. <laughs> oh, this game isn't being subtle at all. <laughs> Looks like a satyr getting his Mac on. Some angels, I think. Man. They must have gotten permission to get all this artwork, because this is beautiful. And that, that painting of Kronos back there is very famous. Never seen it, but seen it a lot on uh, in media and stuff like that. I was unusually surprised after entering this room. It was some kind of gallery, its theme being African culture. Whoa, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, flask, pocket watch. Aha, letter. Dear James, I'm going to make. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make use of these resting moments to thank you once again for your kindness. Those shields that you have donated to us are wonderful! If it weren't for you, our section dedicated to African objects wouldn't lose anything else other than a mere collection of photographs. Also, I've been looking into these Dalma you mentioned. I have to say, they seem to be rather fantastic. If it wasn't for your personal account of their activities, I'd dismiss them as old wives' tales. I've found a few looks, books mentioning them, and I'd be very happy to lend them to you. They will be mailed at once. I hope you can satisfy your curiosity. Cordially yours, Simon Russell, Director, Durham Museum of World Art. So... Durham, I'm guess I'm hoping there's a Durham in England, because there's a Durham in America, and that would have made that accent completely pointless. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Aw, I was hoping I could get that lantern. That'd be good for the dark. The lamp seemed to be broken beyond repair. Probably the souvenir of a hazardous journey. So whoever this James character is, it seems like he was either an archaeologist or... Um... Some kind of an explorer or... God, game, stop, stop cutting the music. You're freaking me out. Interesting. A pair of huge carved tusks were occupying a corner of the gallery. It wouldn't move. Ah, so that can be shifted. Looks like it. Just have to figure out how to do it. Probably means there's a compartment behind there or something. Aw, kitty. The beautiful vases were mesmerizing. I really hope that's not footsteps. <laughs> Please tell me that sound I just heard was not footsteps. Something that looked like a lion's claw was firmly attached to a necklace. Can I cut it out? No, I could have hurt myself. Guess not. Alright, moving on. I'm really hoping that's just ambient noise. <laughs> This game really sets the the atmosphere. I tell you, this is this is really cool. Uh Oh no. Oh god, don't tell me it crashed. Oh bollocks. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. Um it just froze for a while. It eventually loaded. I don't know what was going on, maybe the CD was reading. Anyway, I saved, just to be careful, and onward we go.
Paintings, the adventure game. Huh, I'm zooming in real close for some reason. I just wish I knew what all these paintings were. I'm sure they're pretty famous. I quickly realized that this had to be my room. It became evident why as I glimpsed the gorgeous view through the huge window. So I think since this is his room, why don't we go ahead and put our suitcase somewhere? Maybe? Can we? Nope. That wasn't a proper place to leave the case. Yeah, I don't want to leave the case on a lamp. Thanks. I love lamp. Oh, what have we here? <laughs> is this Dr. Wilbur Fields' bag? Ha <laughs> ha! Adventure game reference. I grabbed the stethoscope, which seemed to be about the only useful thing in the bag. The fuck is that? Oh. Just medical. Except what the hell is that? That is not natural. <laughs> Gives me the shivers. Okay, I don't know what that was. Um, hmm. Can I just go to bed? It was too early to go to bed. I wish there was a way I could see what time it is. Whenever you have games like this where you have to complete a certain number of actions to advance the time, I just wish there was a way to see what the time was. As long as there is, I don't mind, but when there's not, it can get kind of frustrating. I usually put my suitcase on the bed when I first get somewhere. Guess he doesn't like to do that. The bed wasn't a good place. I had to sleep there. Well, put it on the floor. Or not. Can I just put it on here? Desk wasn't an appropriate place to put the luggage. I wanted to take advantage of the view. This little table could come in handy. Yeah, I bet I can put it here. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> the epic finding where to put your luggage puzzle. Jerry P. Carter. Ah, it's his real estate agent. Okay. Rothbury, Northumberland. Okay, so he's got two numbers here, so now we know how to call him. That's good. We might need him to get some information for us. Oh, shoot. Am I going to have to write that down? And we're back. Sorry about that. I had to go and open up a notepad so I could write down the number. Ah, got a pen. That's always useful. It was an ordinary pen. Says you, Michael. Says you. Ah, matches. Also useful. I had only a few matches left. Take a look at this letter to Michael Arthate. I think that's what that says. Okay, so here we got the date. Looks like it's 1976. Michael, it took me months, but at last I think I haven't managed. Well, I mean, think, so to speak, as there are only a few very details left. But I can confirm with certainty that the house is yours. I owe you an apology, because I didn't think it would take me that much time. I tell you, I'd have never thought that finding a Victorian house, and no more and no less than in Rothbury, would have been so hard. The majority of the old houses in this region are either impossible to live in, or they belong to the aristocracy. As if that wasn't enough, you and your bloody whims... <laughs> Was it really that necessary, being so cut off from town? Why all this sudden need for solitude? Well... As long as you don't become one of those typical hermit writers. Anyway, the beauty will take your breath away. It belonged to a wealthy family that always took great care of it. Around the mid-sixties, it became the property of one person. I believe a friend of the family. He lived there for about five years or so, and then abandoned it. Yes, you had right. Abandoned it. As far as I know, this lunatic, a renowned doctor, spent his last days getting drunk in lousy bars before vanishing from the face of the earth. Why someone would do that is beyond me. The house then became the property of the National Trust, and, surprisingly enough, no one ever did anything about it. 
That is, until I rescued you from oblivion, of course. It took me a lot of work, so I hope you like it. The price is just as we discussed earlier. I know it's hard to believe, but the price of the interior was never agreed upon, so whatever you find inside, be it furniture or long-lost Rembrandt, it's yours. Just remember our deal. If you find anything of great value, you have to share it. Now, I won't bother you if your sofa collection happens to be valued in the thousands, but if you bump into a hidden cache of money, and you never know, really, then I want a piece of it. Wait a second. If you happen to sell any important items you find inside the house, such as your sofa collection, I should get a part of that, too. Business is business, my friend. By the way, I sent two people over yesterday to clean it from top to bottom. Six years without inhabitants must have left a nice coat of dust, don't you think? They couldn't do wonders, though, and you were going to need weeks to fully clean that place. Oh, they told me the house seems to have a rat problem. But you can't have it all. Should you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. Your friend, and Cherry.